What's up, CW fans? I had a couple of messages on why I got rid of the Yezu FT891 radio, and I wanted to do a really quick video to let you guys know uh, a couple of the reasons behind it. So the first reason is, uh, and this is kind of like dumb because I had already installed it, but the amount of wiring that I needed to have installed in the truck because I, I remote mounted the, uh, the base unit in the back, uh, and all the wires that I had to run underneath the carpet and come under and make it a clean installation was kind of ridiculous. Uh, I needed a line for the CW key. I needed a line for the speaker. I needed two USB lines because I was using my digi rig uh, in order to do like FT8 and some of the digital modes while I was mobile. Of course, stationary, not actually moving. Um, so I had that. Uh, I had the microphone. Um, cable that I needed to run, which I'd never even really used, and then also the remote head cable that actually came up to the front. Um, that I, I think that might have been it, but it was just, it was a mess of cables. Um, and that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I think uh, 705 might be the best for mobile installation going forward. Um, I wound up pulling all of that stuff out and uh, went with the, the cleaner installation of the 705. Now, for the CW fans out there, uh, the one of the reasons why I did get rid of the 891 is because, I mean, it was such a pain in the neck to change CW speed. So whenever I came across somebody that was a little bit slower in CW, I, I like to slow down for people, and there's no reason why we shouldn't do that. It's really easy on the 705. I can even actually keep it up on the screen uh, if I wanted to, even when I'm changing frequencies. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But I can go down to like 20 words a minute, 18 words a minute, and then crank it back up. Now, on the 891, I did program one of the ABC buttons. I think it was the C button in order to um, change my uh, CW speed. But you know, again, it was just kind of weird. And then the CW speed came up across the screen. I couldn't see what frequency I was on until you, know, you, you bumped it or whatever. It was just functionally not super great. Uh, also, if you wanted to change some of the uh, filter contours and profiles, that was a little bit tough too. Um, it's, it's a lot easier on the touch screen. And you could just like pop this on here and you know, make any changes you want to make to the um, you know, filtering, which can come in handy when you're portable and mobile. So that was another reason why I changed. Um, the, the other one is, hey, you know what? I, I kind of want to do some portable operations and I didn't want to bring the 705 with and also have my 891. And how I've got this configured is uh, I've got some thumb screws that mount to this mount that goes into my cup holder. And I could just like pop these thumb screws off and take this and go wherever. Another reason that I, I like the 705 is because, and I know everyone's gonna be like laughing at me because I actually have a microphone somewhere here. I tried to do this with one hand. I have a microphone here that I actually use, but I don't use it for actually uh, talking. What I do is it's it's got a little lapel clip on here. I clip it onto my seat belt here and it's close to my ear and I can hear what's coming out of the radio a lot better than my other configuration, which I had like a little uh, mobile speaker that just kind of like sat right here with my uh, 891. So I can plug this in uh, right to the side of the radio or I cannot have it plugged in and reduce the amount of cables. I also like the fact that uh, my CW key plugs right into the side here, and then I can have it right here. Uh, in the past, I actually had like a little jumper in, inside of my center console here that I used to connect my CW key uh, and, and all of the other connections that came from the radio. I wound up fabricating my own faceplate and, and jumper plate in here to be able to do all the cross connects and make it a clean installation. Now, I don't even really have to worry about that so much. The only cross connect that I do have in here is with the antenna connector. So I've got the antenna connector here. Uh, I can pop this pop this over here and connect the antenna and then boom, I've got uh, connectivity. So I'm uh, pretty excited about that. 
Uh, you'll see some of my other videos where I talk about you know some of the controls in here and what I do have in here now. Um, but yeah, that's that's a, another reason. Um, it's got uh, quick connect and disconnect with the uh, the power, so I can take this portable easily, and it also charges the battery. And I also put a uh, Anderson power pole, and so you can see that in there. Got the Anderson power pole in there um, to provide um, power to the unit. So those are some of the reasons why I wound up um, changing to the 705. Uh, so, you know, largely some of the CW functions, and I know some, some of you are like, hey, this isn't a CW video, but it kind of is in the fact that I can control my speed really easily with this. Um, I can also control my power as well. I've got the CW pitch um, control right there also. I don't know if you can really see that very well. So I've got the CW pitch control there as well. And also, you know, if I, if I need to do something with the filters, it's super easy and super fast. Um, and I know I'll, I might get ridiculed for, uh, for this a little bit, but also, oops, sorry about my hand. Also, the, um, the scope is really, really handy. I, I like it. It's, uh, it, I don't use it really much when, when driving. I'll just kind of like take my thumb and, and cruise around and, and listen, listen to a, for a signal. So some of the folks out there that are like, oh man, this is like texting and driving. You know, it's really not because my eyes are still on the road. My left hand is on the wheel and the right hand is just kind of like, just nonchalantly, you know, cruising up and down the band, like really slow, just to see if I can find some CW signals, just like the old days, right? And we didn't have any of this, you know, band scope or any of this other stuff. You just kind of go up and down the band and listen like, oh, hey, there's a CW signal. And the cool thing about the ICOM radios is when you hit the edge of the band, like if you go to 14.000 and then you go a little bit more to 13 megahertz, it beeps. So you know that you're at the end of the band. So then I can start going back the other way and going up the band. So it's uh, it kind of makes things handy. And then when I actually do do CW, um, I... I don't need to look at my hands when I'm doing CW, so I, I, I still do look at the road, and um, I just uh, you know do uh, and send CW. So the the reality is I'm not doing a ton of like looking at my stuff when I'm doing mobile CW. So I hope that helps clear up uh, some of that too. And then at some point I'm gonna um, I'll, I'll show everybody my. Um, my GoPro configuration. I do have a GoPro. It was on a bungee here that just kind of like stayed there that, that could kind of like view this. So um, I, I know that you don't know, you don't realize I have three hands, but uh, one is on the steering wheel, one is on the CW key. Uh, it was impossible for me to also video as well. So that's, that's how I was able to video just kind of like, and then I'll, I just kind of move it around really quick with my hand. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the uh, some of the reasoning behind the 705. Uh, of course, there is an install, I shouldn't say an install video, but there is a video that I did on what my installation does look like. And there's a lot of folks that are like, oh, you know what, QRP, it's a, a life's too short for QRP. I kind of agree with that, which is why I installed a, an RM Italy uh, 200 watt mobile amp in the back. So. That's uh, that's how I'm able to get 100 watts. I, uh, I I've got it on the uh, the low power switch, so that gives me 100 watts out, and I drive it with about seven watts of power on the 705. And if I don't have seven wa uh, seven watts, if I unplug it, that only gives me five watts. Um, I still get like, gosh, I think 80 watts out or something like that. So I don't have to remember that, but I or refresh my memory on that. But anyways, um, that's the story behind the 705 and some of the installation and some of the reasons why I went to the 705. Plus, I mean, it's just such a cool, capable radio that I could just always keep it in my truck. And uh, if I wanted to do something portable, I absolutely can with ease. And, um, you know, it just, uh, it really works well. One of, one of the other cool things that I like to use is the, um, the CW or the, uh, the SWR function uh, right here. So you can um, actually graph the SWR and you know, I, I use a, uh, a mobile uh, screwdriver antenna. So that kind of helps me understand whether my SWR, I have the uh, antenna up or down enough 
for the SWR. So um, I'll do some more videos on that if you guys are interested in. Uh, I have A, a Tar Heel antenna, and then I also B, still have the Yezu ATAS120, which um, is, is it still works perfect with this configuration. So if anyone wants me to do some videos on any of that stuff, let me know. And um, you know, if uh, any of this stuff interests you and any other videos that you want me to, uh, to do to kind of like help explain anything, uh, I'm here to help and uh, would like to help folks, uh, you know, enhance their enjoyment of mobile operation, especially on the CW side. So let me know in the comments or uh, shoot me a message. Uh, I'm always around and uh, CW on my friends.